Continuing coverage of some tragic news that shocked many in the Pikes Peak region today, former NFL wide receiver and Colorado native Vincent Jackson found dead in a Florida hotel room. Newside Sports Director Jake Gaden joins us with some reaction from our local community, Jake. That's right, Elizabeth. The wide field in northern Colorado football community is mourning the loss of one of the best football players to come out of either program. The 38-year-old was found dead in a hotel room in Brandon, Florida today, just outside of Tampa. Authorities said he's been staying at the hotel since mid-January as his family reported him missing on February 10th. Sheriff deputies say Jackson had no obvious signs of trauma, no other details details surrounding his death have been made public at this time. The former Buccaneer and Charger played 12 years in the NFL. Today I spoke with his former Gladiator position coach Fred Mayer Jarrison, who called Jackson a once in a generation talent and person who came from a loving military family. You know, I've been at a loss of words for it today, but uh, you know, just really special kid. Um, yeah, you know, really outstanding young man. Um, if, if anyone were to have uh, boys, you'd, you'd want them to carry themselves like Vince did. What a blessing it was to be able to work with them. Jackson's charity releasing the following statement today, saying in part, we are all mourning the loss of our, of our beloved Vincent. His wife and family ask that everyone respect their privacy at this time. For more statements on the passing of Jackson, head to our website, koaa.com slash sports. For everyone here at News 5, though, we like to say that the Jackson family is in our thoughts and prayers this evening. Robin Elizabeth.